Hey everybody, great to have you back here in the fish tank. Today we're going to look at the latest master added to Mini Masters in the 2.0 update. That is going to be Tronvir, the Rune Shaper. We'll have a look at his uh, perks and his auto attack, and we'll have a look at him in action. Right, let's meet Tronvir. So, here we have Tronvir. Uh, we've got a deck that I just made very quickly on stream the other day. Uh, we'll try him out, but let's meet him first. Remember, you can click on the master to find out more about him. So Tronvir is all about these big stones. So first of all, his auto attack is throwing this big stone. So it's a single target attack, no AoE. It does 150 damage, which is a lot. But it only does it every 6 seconds. So it's very hard hitting, but very slow. So good against big units, terrible against Horde. Range of 10, which is... Pretty much default range for most masters. Apep, Diona, for example. Plus, most other masters have a range of 10. Now, interestingly, his auto attack also has a knockback, which is something that none of the other master attacks have. So, knockback means that it can potentially, depending on what unit it hits and the placement of it, it can change the aggro. If he knocks a unit back out of his aggro range, or the unit's aggro range, that means the unit will re-aggro and potentially aggro onto your defensive unit. So that's something that you need to be aware of specifically as a defender. Right, so that's his auto attack. Now the rest of his perks also revolve around these stones. So perk 1 adds these stones to your deck. Now they're a timer-based perk, so you get them every 30 seconds. Um, that 30 second timer will start from when you use the last one. Uh, it's a 2 mana card and you can throw it. And uh, depending on the particular one that you have, that depends on how far you can throw it. So minimum range of 6, maximum range of 36. Each of them has 150 health and 15 duration seconds. Each stone has a particular carving. And the carving will uh, indicate what it will do. So, for example, the Rune of Wind, that has an extra 6 range from all of the other ones. And it deals 200 damage in an area when you throw it. So it's a removal spell, basically. Plus, of course, you get the, you, you get the, the building, the stone as well, that you could potentially utilise. So that's a very strong removal spell. Remember, it's only 2 mana. The second one is the Rune of Frost. And this rune has taunt, and it also has a 300 health shield. And once that shield is depleted, it freezes all nearby enemies. And the third option is the rune of ancestry. And this guy summons two ancestry minions, which are ranged units that do 25 DPS and have 150 health. So remember, you get eight, you get one of these every 30 seconds. I think the way it works is you randomly get one to start with, and then it cycles through probably a preset order. So that's his perk one. Perk two builds on that. Uh, and what happens at perk two is every time you use a stone, the next ground minion you spawn receives a buff based on the stone that you use previous to it. So if you... If you threw a win, a rune of wind, sorry, then the next ground minion you spawn has a buff that does 100 damage in an AoE with its first attack. So it's only with its first attack. If you just use the rune of frost, the next ground minion you spawn gains taunt and has a frost shield equal to its health up to a maximum of 300. And again, once that uh, shield is depleted, it freezes nearby minions. And I, I I think that might be all minions. It definitely freezes itself, which is kind of strange, but that's just the way it works. Um, and the Rune of Ancestry, the next ground minion you play after that, summons two Ancestry minions to support it. Now, perk three, this reduces the cooldown of your Rune carving. So instead of getting them every 30 seconds, you get them every 25 seconds. And once you hit perk 3, the next time you gain a rune, a rune stone, it is upgraded, and this is one time only, it's upgraded to a word stone. And a word stone is a special kind of rune stone that has all three of the carvings. So it will do the damage of the wind, it will have the taunt and the frost shield of the frost, and it will have the units uh, at supporting it as the ancestry. So that's a one time only word stone. 
Once you've used it, the next stone goes back to being just a regular stone. Uh, additionally, after you use the word stone, again, one time only, the next ground minion you spawn has all three of the runic empowerments. So again, that's the AoE attack, the shield, the taunt, and the, 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 the units to support it, the ancestry units. So that's quite a huge power spike, but it's only a one-time thing. You do get the five seconds uh, reduced cooldown to uh, to stay. Right, so those are his perks and his auto attack. One thing that I had a lot of problems with, with regards to uh, testing this guy and learning this guy, was figuring out which of the word stones, sorry, which of the stones was which. Uh, just from graphically looking at them in my hand. And here's a quick graphic to help you understand which is which. Uh, of course, it's kind of easier when they're huge like this, but basically the grey one is the wind one, the blue one is the frost one, the orange one is the ancestry one, and the uh, the one with the strapping around it, um, I guess they all have strapping around it, the one that's kind of smaller than the others, that's the word stone. So grey wind, blue frost, orange ancestry, and... The other one that's different is the word stone. So hopefully that'll help you uh, looking at them in your hand. I just found it very difficult They because they, they do look quite similar. Uh, but once you figure out the colors, it kind of makes sense. Uh, we also do have a skin. Uh, I don't have it yet, but it is available in the game in the battle pass, which is the Gravedigger Tronvir. So you'll see him throwing his coffin as his auto attack. Right, so that's Tronvir on paper. Let's give him a go in a real live 1v1 ranked game. Masters, prepare to get your minion on. Oh, wait, okay, here we go. Game right. against Setsu oh! Crash Site Arena. Now, as you can see, I've got my UI at the top. That's uh, It's also set as the streamer UI, so it's a little smaller. If you checked out my latest video, you know the devs are currently looking at a way of... Um, bringing the UI back down to the bottom, which a lot of people are uh, just used to. So hopefully that should be something that happens kind of soonish. Remember, our auto tech is heavy, but slow. Ten range, so it should hit most things. Okay, we got our first stone. It's the blue one, which is the frost stone. We should be able to get a freeze out of this. And again, the stone stays there, so it is able to tank a hit as well, which is very useful for us in that situation. Okay, this is the Ancestry one, the support. Good, of course, against the cleaver since it's a building it'll tank that so that, that was uh, very useful for us in that situation setsu coming in so we've got to be aware of his jump monkey healing here kind of frustrating but it's, it's just monkey is as monkey does I want to lose the hugger there. Right, the next one we have is the 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 frost. No, sorry, the wind one. This one will do the damage. Remember, it also does a knockback as well, so we can use that to push things around as appropriate. We're at perk two, so we're getting the runic empowerment. Probably miss the wind one on something useless. This guy's really dark at the bottom here for some reason, unnecessarily. 
Okay, so we got the timer up here in the, the perk bar, so next perk, next stone is coming. It's the blue one, which is the frost one again. from the guy at the bottom there, that must have been the wounded compoundment from the frost one. He's kind of low HP, but as a head on XP. Of course, as um, Setsu, it's going to be problematic soon. Next stone is the Ancestry stone with the support. And we've hit perk 3, so our next stone will be the Word stone, which will have all of the empowerments on it. Okay, so we have the dudes at the top as the uh, the runic empowerment supporting us. Blue gained one, two, perk three. Mm, bit of a mistake there, but he doesn't seem to have the set to reload. Low HP. We could kill him here, but I do want to show you the the word stone with all of the stuff on it. Okay, kind of just got to show it before the end, but hopefully it gives you an idea of. How it works. Okay. So that is Tronvir. We've met him. We understand now his auto attack. Very hard hitting, very slow. We know his perks. Throwing the stones. We know the three types of stones. The grey one, which is the wind one. The blue one, which is the frost one. And the ancestry one with the support units, which is the orange one. We also know his perk two empowers the next ground minion to be buffed depending on the stone and we know his perk three is the word stone that gives you all three of them all at once right let me know in the comments what do you think about the new master do you like his design i, I kind of like it it's different enough from other masters to be interesting with regards to deck building around the, the new master it feels like from looking at the leaderboard it feels like that people have just taken an existing deck and then just switched it to play with this master so it, there doesn't seem to be too much sort of restrictive deck building to get the best out of him but he is new and we'll see how he goes uh, there is a general consensus that he's very strong uh, but uh, the leaderboards really are not showing that i don't think at the moment but we're still early a lot of people won't have access to him so that could change as we go on but yeah certainly let me know what do you think about the new master do you think he's strong enough? Um, how? What experiences have you had playing him, playing against him? All that kind of stuff is always interesting to uh, discuss. And a new master can really shake up the meta a lot. Right, if you're new here in the fish tank, would love to have you hit that subscribe button and join us on our mini masters journey. We know we're having a rough time at the moment with the 2.0 launch. Things are getting better. We've had a couple of hot fixes. Things are definitely better since that. We've got another hot fix coming soon, which will address a lot more issues. Uh, hopefully you guys can be patient and um, we can get back to the mini masters we love the gameplay i'm really enjoying at the moment it was a bit rough at launch but a few hot fixes in it's definitely a lot better um, and yeah pretty much give us a thumbs up if you like this video um, and i'm just sort of uh, muttering now just rambling a little bit anyway see you again soon here in the fish tank my name's Badders fish and as always i'm awkwardly waving